Hello, 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 I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We have a few things lined up for today's video, which as usual, I am super excited about. A couple of these places I've actually never been to, reason being one of them only very recently opened and because of lockdown previously, we haven't had a chance to go. Another place I've been to many a times, but I've just never had the opportunity to feature it. So I'm really excited to show you and tell you all about it. Before we start, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So Squarespace is an online subscription service that lets you build professional and beautiful looking websites using their easy drag and drop templates. You don't need to know how to code or even know too much about building websites. They're an all-in-one service provider and have e-commerce features if you're looking to open an online store, email marketing tools to grow your readership and existing templates to choose from if you're looking to create a blog. So if you have an idea to start a side hustle, to start a blog or to grow your business, make it happen with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Fung to save on your first purchase. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go out. I'm ready to go eat at a restaurant. Let's go. Okay, so I've just arrived at Shido Rice Cake Cafe here in West Ride. What this cafe is known for is like its name suggests, rice cake and it's Korean rice cakes. They have really traditional rice cakes and they have more like fusion type rice cakes as well. So how it works is once you walk through the cafe, there is a space where they have a whole range of different rice cakes and you just sort of pick which ones you would like and you pay at the counter. What's so special about this cafe is I think they're one of the first rice cake cafes here in Sydney and the head chef at this cafe, he has over 30 years experience making rice cakes. The rice cakes are made fresh every single day and what this means is they come in at 2.30 in the morning every day to make these rice cakes and it takes them to about 10 a.m. So it's like a seven to eight hour process every single day and they're made fresh every single day like that is what they insist on okay so i ended up getting six items five items excluding the coffee so what i've got is a range of more traditional korean rice cakes and also um, more fusion type i'll start with the red bean one first it's got a firm texture to it i wouldn't say it's overly dense it's still very nice and chewy it's also not overly sweet which i appreciate if you like red beans definitely give this a go I think it goes really well with coffee. By the way, here's a fun fact that they told me. The name Shido means the pot that the rice cakes are cooked in, which is why their logo is like a little pot as well. Okay, so the next thing that we're trying is the sesame rice cake. So this is slightly softer to touch. And once I cut into it, because I wanted to show you the cross section, you can see like the sesame inside. This is delicious. The sesame flavor is super prominent. And I find this to be softer than the rice cakes that I've just had, which I actually quite enjoy. And I appreciate the soybean powder on the outside as well. So far, I think the sesame one is my favorite. I've only had two. Okay, so the next rice cakes that we're trying is something that is super popular in Korea right now. This is the Anko patterned rice cakes and inside they have red beans. So this comes in three different colors. It's got a really nice chewy texture to it. It's not as soft to touch as the sesame rice cake, but I do really like the presence of the red bean in here. There's not too much where it's overwhelming. It's like just enough. So the coloring on these rice cakes come from all natural ingredients. For the purple one, I believe it was yams. And then for the dark green one, it's from something called mugwort. Okay, let's give it a go and see what this tastes like. Perhaps it's just my unrefined palate. I can't really taste the difference between the two. All right, the next thing that we're trying is something called the pumpkin cake. It's warm to touch, but it looks like a bar of soap while I'm holding it. Okay, I've just cut into the pumpkin rice cake and I can see what I'm assuming is like a pumpkin puree. The exterior, it is a little bit sticky, 
and just looking at it you might mistake it for like a sponge but it's definitely not like that in terms of texture it's a lot denser it's a lot less airy and it's also more chewy as well and last but definitely not least strawberry mochi it's also a uh, quite quite dense the consistency and the texture of this is very similar to the sesame rice cake so it's a lot softer like when you touch it it changes the shape if that makes sense okay so as you can see in the cross section of the strawberry mochi there is a strawberry and it's surrounded by red beans this is exactly what you would want a mochi to be the strawberry is sweet the exterior is soft and chewy and it'll also definitely fill you up as well. Okay, I decided to finish off my time here at Shiro Rice Cake with a green tea bingsu. So what I love about this place is that they have different size bingsu. One's for, you know, one to two people and then three to four and then more. And so this is a size just for like one to two people, which is perfect because usually I'm dining by myself. So there's a big scoop of ice cream and then it's drizzled with some condensed milk. Underneath that, there is the red bean paste, which is made in store. And then there's also the injomi just scattered around. I'm super excited to try. It looks absolutely amazing. So this shaved ice, just looking at it, looks very fine. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. The green tea like matcha flavor is so prominent. The shaved ice, it's so fine. Once you like bite into it, it just completely melts. If you come here, you should definitely try the bingsu. And if you don't have any friends to bring along to this cafe, just order the one that's for one person and eat it by yourself. Okay, let me try the injure me as well. It's chewy, it's delicious, it's got soybean powder on the outside. And then making these rice cakes fresh every day. You can really tell the difference. You can tell the difference between this and like rice cakes that have been frozen and then reheated. It's just the texture. Try it. If you come here, definitely give this a go. All right, we are pretty much done here at the Rice Cake Cafe, but this video is not done yet. There are other things that I want to show you. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, this next place that we're heading to isn't necessarily a restaurant, but it is some place that has recently opened here in Sydney. And my friend went there previously and sent me so many photos and was like, Janice, you have to come visit. And I was like, okay. So here I am. Uh, we are going to be visiting a very newly opened Korean mall here in Eastwood. It looks really cool. All right, this is what I am talking about, Kmall 09. So it's kind of where Dan Murphy's is. It's at the very end of the strip in terms of the Korean side of Eastwood. Okay, this place is absolutely amazing. There's a whole range of different things that are available here. Pretty much anything that you want, you would be able to find from sauces to snacks, to cooked foods, to veggies, to raw meats. You can find anything that you want here. Wow, they have a soft corn and cheese. I believe this is a popcorn-like snack. They also have Korean soups here. So the one that I love the most is the beef stock. No, the beef bone one, which I think is this one. Okay, they also sell kitchen utensils like knives, chopsticks. My mom keeps telling me I need to get a new pan because it looks ugly on camera. And they also sell desserts, like ready-made desserts, if that's the right term for it. Oh, this is the Squid Game macaroon. And they also sell cosmetics. I wouldn't be surprised if they sold electronics here as well. <laughs> I was right, they do sell electronics here. There's foot massages, there is kettle fans, toaster. Okay, that pretty much wraps up our visit to Kmore 09. It's your one-stop shop department store for all your Korean grocery needs. Definitely check it out if you're in the area. It's uh, I'll put the, the address and all the details in my description as well if you want to visit. Now that we're in Eastwood, what I really want to show you is a place that I go to a lot 
for Chang Fun, but I don't think I've actually ever featured it in my video. So that's exactly where we're going to go to right now. Eastwood is always so busy. It's just near impossible to find a park, which is why I don't even bother parking too close to Eastwood. I park like a little bit further away um, and I walk here instead because the time I spend walking is typically less than the time it takes for me to find a park that's very close to the center of Eastwood. Every time I come to Eastwood, there's something new happening. I wonder what they're building here. Car park? Ah, construction of a multi-level deck car park. I realize I've pretty much featured every place in this little plaza. There is Sea Bay Kitchen, we, which we featured in our Sion episode. There is the Malatang, which we featured in that episode as well, when I wanted to see how much my brother and my sister could consume. And now we're heading to the traditional Cantonese taste with amazing congee and also amazing chang fan. I am so excited. Okay, I ordered everything to go, so I'll see you in just a little bit when I picked up all the food and I'm settled and I'll see you in just a bit. All right, we are back and we are gonna be trying all the items that I've ordered from Eastwood. So I got three items. I got the prawn chang fan, I got the tar seal chang fan, and I also got a congee. I considered sitting in there as well, but there were quite a lot of people and I didn't wanna to wait too long for a seat. So I just thought, you know what? I just get a takeaway. Chang fun is super delicious and I have it a lot, especially at Yum Cha, but it's actually very difficult to do it well. You have these very thin layer of rice noodle that you steam it and then you put, you know, fresh ingredients on the inside. There's a whole range of different items you can put on the inside. There is prawns and char siu, of course. My first bite didn't have any prawns on the inside, but this, this rice noodle layer, it's very thin, quite soft, but not to a point where it just breaks apart. The prawns are also super fresh. They've also got some lettuce in here as well. These rice noodles are so soft and so tender and they're very generous with the filling as well. As I pick it up, the, the prawn pieces, their whole prawns just fall out and they taste amazing with the, with the soy sauce that they have provided. I would love some spring onions as well, but that's just me. I love spring onions with everything. All right, let's now give our ta siu chang fun a go. I cut into it and you can see it's just brimming with the slices of cha siu. These steamed rice rolls are just so soft, so thin and so delicate. It's still able to hold the filling inside it, but you know that if you put any pressure on it, it's just gonna, you know, tear apart. The char siu is absolutely delicious. They've sliced it thin enough so that they can fit multiple slices of char siu within the different layers of the rice roll. If you're in Eastwood and, you know, you are looking for a snack, or if you're looking for a meal, definitely, definitely try their chang fun out. Okay, the third item that I've ordered is a century egg and pork congee. It of course has century egg, it has lean pork, it has spring onions and some ginger as well. It smells amazing. And just going through the consistency, it looks very creamy, it looks very fluffy, exactly how good congee should be. This congee is so good. I was gonna try and find some white pepper, but it seems like they've added the, the salt and the pepper in already. This is like one of those comfort foods that if I'm feeling a bit under the weather, or even if I just want something like, like a hug from inside out, this congee or chicken congee is what I would always go for. The consistency of this joke isn't too thin, but it's not overly thick either. It's sort of like just right. It's quite fluffy. It's quite creamy. If I had it my way, I would add a whole bunch more spring onions, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. All right, I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of this congee. This is pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Have you had lunch? Oh, then you can have it. Oh, I can't believe it's 2.56 already.
I just finished all the jokes. I'm so Why? tired. Why don't you take one for me? I didn't know if you wanted any. I wasn't sure if you, you had. Just left it. I wasn't sure if you already had food.